His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a secure palace, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. In the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. During the meeting, a number of issues related to national affairs were reviewed with the aim of strengthening the country's development process and its blessed march to continue its progress and achievements in all fields. His Majesty affirmed that the Bahraini citizens will always remain the focus of the Kingdom's attention and the main target of any development plans and programmes. He praised the continued keenness of His Royal Highness to create a quality of opportunities for citizens and his continuous efforts to consolidate the position of the Kingdom on the regional and international levels, as well as achieving the aspirations of its people towards further progress and prosperity. His Majesty expressed his appreciation for the tireless efforts of the ministers, each in their per position, in serving the nation and the citizens. His Majesty affirmed his pride in the interconnectedness of the people in Bahrain, its solidarity and awareness of shared responsibility, in laying the foundations of the cultural renaissance, strengthening Bahrain's adherence to the goals and principles drawn from its history and civilization, which are represented in openness to all civilizations, religions and cultures, and promoting the values of coexistence. His Majesty indicated that the establishment of the King Hamad Award for Peaceful Coexistence comes from the vision of the Kingdom and aims at promoting global peace and coexistence among peoples and to encourage pioneering efforts in the field of dialogue of civilizations and coexistence. His Majesty stressed the Kingdom's continued keenness to promote civilizations and cultures, to achieve world peace and to meet the goals and values agreed upon by humanity. On the occasion of the 23rd anniversary of the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, which this year coincides with the Kingdom's celebrations of the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty's accession to the throne, His Majesty expressed his pride in the great role of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the SCW, Princess Ibrahim Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in promoting women's progress at various levels. He praised Her Royal Highness's great national contributions through her leadership of the Council and her tireless work to enhance the status of women and their role in building and stabilising the Bahraini family and achieving their aspirations in the process of national action as a worthy partner in building the country in a way that contributes to achieving more honourable gains and achievements for the nation. His Majesty congratulated all members of the SCW and Bahraini women on this occasion, praising the distinguished position of Bahraini women, the progress and leadership they have achieved the active roles they play as an important and key partner in the development process and the important achievements and successes they have made at all developmental levels, which has strengthened the position of the Kingdom on the regional and international levels. Regarding regional and international developments, including the current situation in the Middle East, His Majesty stressed the necessity of working towards immediate ceasefire in Gaza, ensuring protection of civilians and promoting sufficient, safe and sustainable humanitarian aid to them, in addition to reducing the escalation and preventing the expansion of conflict in the region and creating a horizon of a permanent and comprehensive peace based on the two-state solution and international legitimacy resolutions in order to achieve common interests. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's support for all regional and international efforts aimed at achieving calm in the region and avoiding further tension and conflicts in a way that preserves peace, stability and security in the region and achieves the interest of all its people and meets their aspirations for development and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who introduced His Majesty to the players who won the four medals, gold, silver and bronze, 
during their honourable participation in the Paris 2024 Olympic Games in an unprecedented historical achievement that is added to the record of Bahrain sporting achievements that resulted in Bahrain ranking first in the Arab world and 33rd globally out of 204 participating countries. At the beginning of the reception, His Majesty expressed his thanks to the Bahraini champions and the administrators for their great effort, performance, distinguished level and high capabilities in these competitions. His Majesty congratulated them on this honourable and historic global achievement, raising the nation's flag high in this high-profile forum. His Majesty added that there is no doubt that the contribution of the achievements made with the athletes would be an impetus to make more achievements in the future as it was among an elite group of athletes from various countries of the world, and that Bahrain's achieving first place in the Arab world is an achievement and a source of pride. His Majesty praised the loyalty of the players, as they were keen with all determination and eager to make further achievements in upcoming competitions. His Majesty praised the spirit of determination, characterised the people of Bahrain, who have proven their superiority in various sports and their ability to ascend the podium with merit. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad, praising their sincere efforts and hard work through their successful leadership of the Bahraini Sports March, which reflected in making many important achievements that Bahrainis continue to make in all sports, in regional, continental and global competitions. His Majesty also appreciated the efforts and dedication of those in charge of sports federations and technical and administrative bodies in reaching these honourable results. His Majesty also praised the solidarity and cooperation of the Bahraini sports family and its support for the plans and programmes of the General Sports Authority and the Bahrain Olympic Committee, which involved Bahraini sports to real competition and won titles, championships and advanced positions. His Majesty awarded the players Winifred Jaffe, Ahmed Mohammed Omagazi, Sawa Eid Nasser, and Gur Tigran Amas Minasyan the first class medal of competence in recognition of the contributions to serving Bahrain, enhancing its sporting status, and making this great sporting achievement. His Majesty wished them and all the Kingdom's athletes continued success and progress, continuing their successful and honourable career, representing the country well in the upcoming foreign tournaments and participations in order to make more victories. For their part, the players expressed their deep thanks and gratitude to His Majesty and their pride in winning these medals, praising the support and encouragement they always received from His Majesty, which motivated them to making these distinguished achievements. They extended the sincere thanks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid for their continued support and encouragement. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة ضيوفنا الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته في هذا اليوم نحتفي بروح العزيمة والإصرار التي يمثلها نخبة من رياضي وطننا العزيز الذين لم يكتفوا فقط بالمشاركة في أولمبياد باريس 2024 بل عادوا إلينا بالذهب والفضة والبرونز وما هذا إلا بتوفيق من الله سبحانه وتعالى ثم بدعم جلالتكم رعاكم الله إنه لشرف كبير أن يلتقي فيه أبطالنا الذين رفعوا اسم مملكة البحرين عاليا في هذا المحفل الرياضي الدولي بجلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم وما لقاء جلالتكم هذا إلا تقديرا لعطاءات هؤلاء الرياضيين 
وجهودهم الجبارة لتحقيق هذا الإنجاز التاريخي الآن يتشرف اللاعبون بالسلام على جلالة الملك المعظم وتكريمهم السيدة وينفرد موتلي يافي حاصلة على ميدالية ذهبية في لعبة 3000 متر موانع السيد أحمد تاج الدين حاصل على ميدالية ذهبية في لعبة المصارعة في وزن 97 كيلو جرام السيدة سلوى عيد ناصر ناصر حاصلة على ميدالية فضية في لعبة 400 متر والسيد غورتي جران أراميس مينسيان حاصل على ميدالية برونزية في لعبة وزن 102 كيلو جرام His Highnesship Khaled expresses sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his great and continuous support for the sports sector in the Kingdom. His Highness praised the great interest that His Majesty pays to Bahraini youth and sports in general, which reflects his insightful vision and continuous support for athletes. He said that the historic Olympic achievement made at the 2024 Paris Olympics is one of the results of the high royal patronage enjoyed by Bahraini sports, stressing that this achievement would not have been made without the sound guidance and unlimited support of His Majesty the King. His Highness renews his thanks and gratitude to His Majesty and wished His Majesty good health and wellness and for the Kingdom of Bahrain further successes and achievements. His Highness also extended his sincere thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for his continuous support for the sports movement and also appreciating the interest of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in this regard. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with Zayed bin Rashid Al Ziani at Secure Palace. His Royal Highness expressed his gratitude to Al Ziani and the Gulf Air Group Holdings Board of Directors for their efforts during their tenure. He highlighted Gulf Air Group's holdings role in enhancing the Kingdom's logistics sector and the quality of its services. His Royal Highness affirmed the role of the aviation sector in enhancing the economic competitiveness of the Kingdom. He noted the importance of implementing Gulf Air's development plans to achieve the Kingdom's far-reaching aspirations. Alziani and the previous members of the Board of Directors expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's support of Gulf Air's development and for enhancing the Kingdom's logistics sector. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was crowned champion of the Hungary International 120 km race. In His Highness's latest preparations to participate in the upcoming World Championships, which will be held in France next September. Former President of Hungary, Katalin Novak, followed the participation of His Highness in the race. His Highness was able to successfully complete the stages of the race with a time of 7 hours, 22 minutes and 59 seconds. The race witnessed strong stages due to the difficult terrain, but His Highness was able to finish the stages successfully. His Highness stressed that this victory is a great incentive before the next World Championships, which will be more difficult and will involve competition for first places. He pointed out that the Hungarian international race is one of the most difficult races of the European scene in light of the difficult terrain in several stages. He added that the race was the last European preparation for the Royal Endurance team before participating in the World Championship. His Highness praised the organisation of the Hungarian Equestrian Federation and the Bahraini cadres who participated in the organisation, the judging of veterinary and technical committees, praising at the same time the Bahraini participation in achieving first places in the race. His Highness received the first place cup from the representative of the Hungarian Equestrian Federation, Oshidia Mehuk and David, from the Hungarian Equestrian Federation, while the Royal Team's rider, Mohamed Abdul Hamid Al Hashimi, came in second place, and his teammate, Osman Abdul Jalil Al Wadi, came in third place.
The Royal Endurance team recorded positive results in the Hungarian International Race in the 120 and 100 km races. The director of the Royal Endurance team, Dr Khaled Ahmed Hassan, affirmed that the leadership of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance team, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, had led the team to achieve first place in the Hungarian 120km international race, indicating that His Highness' experience played a major role in achieving these good results. He added that the team had reached full readiness to participate in the World Championships in France next September, after recording great positive participation throughout the European season. The Royal Endurance team achieved good results in a 120km race, represented by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, achieving first place, Mohammed Al Hashimi, a second place, and Othman Al Awadi, a third place, while His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa came in fourth place. Jababada in 5th place, Mayof al Ramehi in 6th place, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak al Khalifa in 7th place, while jockey Hamid Isa al Janehi came in 8th place, and jockey Jafar Mirza in 9th place. Rider Isa al Inazi achieved 1st place in the 120km race for the youth category, and Salman Isa came in 2nd place in the 100km race. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Bint Ahmed Al Ramehi, emphasised Bahrain's dedication under His Majesty the King's reign and the ongoing support from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop urban planning for the benefit of the nation and its citizens. She stated that following the directive of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to eliminate infrastructure cost recovery fees for building permits and to provide funding solutions for infrastructure in new areas and land division plans, a decision number 788 of 2024 was issued, amending the executive regulations of Decree Law number 3 of 1994 on land division, specifying areas where division is permitted and linking it to the requirement and necessary infrastructure and its connection to main infrastructure. Arav Mehi explained that the decision to introduce an infrastructure implementation mechanism for major division plans reflects the government's focus on infrastructure as a fundamental pillar for comprehensive development and attracting new investments in Bahrain. This also reaffirms the activation of the partnership between the public and private sectors as a key driver of economic and urban development. The Minister highlighted the interest of the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects and Infrastructure in all projects and initiatives related to the sector. She also noted that the decision includes amendments to the Land Division Regulations for Development, which is expected to stimulate real estate activity, enhance urban and economic development and encourage increased investment and property development in the Kingdom. The Urban Planning and Development Authority, with the participation of the Ministry of Works, the Electricity and Water Authority, the Survey and Land Registration Authority and the Real Estate Regulatory Authority held a press conference on the project to implement infrastructure in the main zoning plans. During the conference, the CEO of the Urban Planning and Development Authority, engineer Ahmed Abdelaziz al Kayat, announced the new mechanism for implementing infrastructure works in the main zoning plans. 
He said that the authority held a group of workshops for consulting offices, real estate developers and those concerned with the sector to introduce the new mechanism and take into account the recommendations and views. When developing the proposed mechanism, the authority takes into account the simplification of its procedures and the provision of multiple options for the property owners. The Northern Governor Ali Asfor held its meeting with the officials in the Governorate and affirmed that the Governorate is preparing for a visit by the World Health Organization delegation to accredit it as a healthy Governorate. He emphasised the importance of showcasing the Governorate's diverse successes in the Healthy Cities programme for the WHO delegation to review during their visit. He pointed to the Governorate's recent distinguished initiatives in preventative programmes such as the Mosquito Control Campaign and socially cohesive programmes like the Bayat Charitable Project. He directed the preparation of a schedule for the field visits leading up to the WHO a delegation's visit. The Northern Governor Ali al Asfor made an inspection visit in Hamid Town Health Centre and Sheikh Jabba al Ahmed al Sabah's Health Centre as part of the Governor's efforts to implement the Healthy Cities programme. During his visit, the Governor affirmed that the aim of this step is to adopt the Northern Governorate as a healthy Governorate in line with health development. He stressed the importance of strengthening partnerships between various sectors to implement joint health programmes that include combating obesity and chronic diseases and conducting health surveys to measure the impact of these efforts in society. The Hamid Town Health Centre operates in a 12-hour system and services seven residential complexes and about 39,000 people, while the Sheikh Jabba Al Ahmed Al Sabah Health Centre works around the clock and serves 48 residential complexes and about 66,000 people. To improve global health, the World Health Organization launched the Healthy Cities program in 1986. This program aligns with the Sustainable Development Goals, particularly Goal 11, which focuses on making cities and human settlements inclusive and safe. To fulfill its mission of better living and sustainable development for citizens and residents, Bahrain has included its cities and the Healthy Cities program. In 2018, Umm al Hassam in the capital governorate was accredited as a healthy city, followed by Manama in 2021 as the first healthy city in the eastern Mediterranean region. In the Mahara governorate, Saitin and Asaya were accredited as healthy cities in 2022. In the same year, the city of Ali in the northern governorate was also included in the list, raising national aspirations as efforts continue to accredit the northern governorate as a healthy governorate. This health accreditation follows fulfillment of global health standards by the Kingdom Cities, the launch of numerous beneficial programs and services, and the adoption of modern diagnostic and treatment technologies. The inclusion of the Kingdom Cities and Governorates in the Global Healthy Cities Network reflects the Bahraini government's commitment to improving quality of life and ensuring active participation for achieving universal health coverage and health goals beneficial to the people of Bahrain. The Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to enhance comprehensive digital transformation through continuous development of systems and employing the latest technologies. The launch of the System for Detecting Changes and Building Violations at Using Artificial Intelligence is a testament to the extent of development and digital transformation witnessed by various sectors in Bahrain. To speak more about this, we are joined over the phone by the Director General of the Capital Municipality of the Ministry of Municipality Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Mohammed Saad Al Sahafi, who delivered the following statement. This system provides us the, with the opportunity to utilize some of the latest software available in this field. The AI system utilizes aerial photographs taken by specialized companies in the field every two weeks and analyzes these photographs and compares them to previous photographs and permits issued to identify the variations in existing structures. This allows for the identification of changes and enables specialists in the municipal affairs to take the necessary legal actions and to amend the legal status of these changes. When compared to our previous practices, which relied on physical inspection of the sites, the system has a better overall coverage 
and more accurate data. Moreover, the frequency which the system analyzes this data allows the municipal affairs to take swift action regarding the, these changes. It is hoped that will lead to a reduction in the cost and effort required to rectify these changes. Overall, the system has a higher level of transparency and would lead to support the urban development in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The island wedding team from the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, BTEA, participated in the WOW Awards Asia 2024 Expo held at GEO World Convention Centre in Mumbai, India. The goal of this participation is to promote Bahrain as a leading destination for weddings, social events and conferences in India and to showcase the kingdom's extensive capabilities for hosting such events, including its luxury hotels and unique tourist and historical facilities. During the exhibition, the team exchanged experiences in promoting exhibitions and conferences tourism with representatives from major Indian and international companies specialising in the field. The tourism advisor to BTEA, Dr. Ali Folad, emphasised the authority's keenness to participating for the fourth consecutive time in this exhibition to establish Bahrain as an ideal destination for hosting weddings and social events.